ഓപ്പൺ മാപ്പിംഗ് തിയറും ലെറ്റ് ജി ബി എ റീച്ചിയൻ ആൻഡ് സപ്പോസ് ദാറ്റ് എഫ് ഇസ് എ നോൺ കോൺസ്റ്റൻറ്റ് അനാലിറ്റി ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ഓൺ ജി ദെൻ ഫോർ എനി ഓപ്പൺ സെറ്റ് യു ഇൻ ജി എഫ് ഓഫ് യു ഈസ് ഓപ്പൺ ദറ്റ് ഈസ് എ നോൺ കോൺസ്റ്റൻറ്റ് അനാലിറ്റി ഫംഗ്ഷൻ മാപ്സ് ഓപ്പൺ സെറ്റ്സ് ഇൻ ടു യോ ഓപ്പൺ സെറ്റ്സ് ഓപ്പൺ സെറ്റിന് ഓപ്പൺ സെറ്റിലേക്ക് തന്നെ ഒരു നോൺ കോൺസ്റ്റൻറ്റ് അനാലിറ്റി ഫംഗ്ഷൻ മാപ്പ് ചെയ്യും ദറ്റ് ഈസ് ഓപ്പൺ മാപ്പിംഗ് തിയറം ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് എ വെരി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് തിയറം ഇറ്റ് ഹാസ് സോ മെനി ആപ്ലിക്കേഷൻസ് so we have given a region g so by definition of region g is open f is a non constant function analytic function defined in g and u subset of g is an open set u ennu parayunnathu g is an open set aanu we have to show that f of u is open f of u is an open set so for any a belongs to u you have to show that there exists an open disk such that f of a is contained in f of u f of a oru interior point aanu prove cheyda undi f of a completely contain cheyna oru disk f of u lundu ennu prove cheyal madhi that is we have a theorem that is the pre- just the previous theorem that is suppose f is analytic and b a r analytic in the disk with the center a and radius r and let alpha equal to f of a if f of z minus alpha has a zero of order m at z equal to a then there exists an epsilon and delta greater than zero such that for every b a epsilon there exists a b alpha delta such that the equation f of z equal to theta has a solution of order 1 that is exactly m simple rules that is if we take a disk with the center a and the radius epsilon that is b a epsilon in u then we can find there exists a disk with the center alpha alpha means f of a aanu so f of a and delta with radius delta such that b f of a delta is completely contained in f of b a epsilon that is b f of a delta is completely contained in f of b a epsilon by the previous theorem and this is contained in f of u that is we get a neighborhood of f of a or a disk of f of a with radius delta such that that is completely contained in f of u so that means f of u is open so a non constant analytic function map an open set into another open set a corollary of open mapping theorem suppose f from g to c is 1 1 and analytic and f of g is equal to omega then f inverse from omega to c is analytic and f inverse dash of w equal to f dash inverse of z f dash of z inverse where w equal to f of z that is we have a function f from g to c 1 1 on and it is analytic also f of g is equal to omega now we have to show that there exists a function f inverse from omega to c that is ad analytic a irikanam and f inverse in the derivative f in the derivative in the inverse aayirikkum f inverse in the derivative f dash in the inverse aayirikkum ee moonu karyangalu prove cheyanam oru inverse function exist cheyanam adu analytic aayirikkum adinde derivative ennu parnjal f in the derivative in the inverse aayirikkum so 1 1 aanu analytic aanu ennu rendu karyangal thannundu g open aanu g open set aanu so by open mapping theorem namukku parayam എഫ് ഓഫ് ജി എന്തായിരിക്കും ഓപ്പൺ ആയിരിക്കും എഫ് ഓഫ് ജി എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ഇവിടെ ഒമേഗയാണ് സോ ഒമേഗ ഈസ് ഓപ്പൺ 
so we define f inverse from omega to c so by the definite uh, by the property of a continuous function f inverse and the continuous arikim. inverse image open set in open set to like map in the function is continuous so f inverse from omega to c is continuous and we define the point z as f inverse of f of z for a very z in omega omega lay the point in the current f inverse exists in the so z equal to f inverse of f of z for a very z belongs to omega now we consider a proposition in unit 1 let g and omega be open subsets of c suppose that f and g are two continuous function f from g to c um, g from omega to c um. continuous functions are such that f of g is a subset of omega and g of f of z equal to z for all z in g if g is differentiable and g dash of z not equal to zero f is differentiable and f dash of z equal to 1 by g dash of f of z if g is analytic implies f is analytic so here also we have two functions f and the other function and other analytic number f inverse and the function continuous on the number of f analytic on f inverse continuous on any I'm with the earth for another under continuous function so analytic function uh, continuous I came out on the f um, f inverse um, continuous function on the other t any f of g subset of omega number in the f of g in the other omega the name so our condition will satisfy you and g of f of z equal to z g of f of z equal to z so we have to g i to look another f in a number g i to look another f inverse in a f i to so g of f of z in the one all on can the g of f of z equal to f of f inverse of z that's equal to z adum satisfy chain under the no inverse function exists any if g is differentiable g to stand to number to the f one f differentiable on a garden analytic on a don't differentiable on a and then g dash of z not equal to zero then g dash of z not equal to zero good on angle that is non constant analytic function equal to zero l constant type of no area open mapping the other other non constant analytic function on then f is differentiable and then angel f differentiable i can the other f normal number loaded to the f inverse f inverse continuous on a path one to the other one and there is a f inverse differentiable i can and at the bar another f dash of z in the bar another other i'm loaded the f dash of z in the normal f one of the f inverse on f inverse dash of z in the way another and there you come one by g dash of f of z done one by number what a theoretical number w on ocean w to come under one by g dash of g in the normal f on f dash of f dash of f of z f of z means f in the standard I'm going to the f inverse of z and f f dash of f inverse of z in the normal I'm going to be on it to the f of z data so f inverse of w and that is z so f inverse dash of f of z along w and the tally equal to 1 by f dash of z in the that is f inverse dash of w equal to 1 by in the inverse akira them f dash of z all inverse that is other honest number of the earth statement for another f dash sorry f inverse in the derivative f inverse in the derivative and are another f in the derivative in the inverse side where w in the one f of z so that is the corollary of open mapping theorem Thank you.